Hello and welcome to Ebb and Flow Imagery's YouTube channel. Marnie Lynn here and today I'm going to do a picture of a copy of two tulips that I did back in 1994 and I want to use the end result for another project that Candace and I are working on. And in order for me to use the two tulips, she said I had to redo it. And I readily agreed because, hey, I enjoy doing this kind of stuff. So here we are. I've taken my original and downsized it to about 75%, copied it onto a piece of paper. And now what I'm doing is just coloring it as close as I can to the colors that I used 25 years ago. And I'm really amazed at how well it's coming. I'm just taking whatever my mind's eye says to take and I start with the lightest and work my way out to the darkest. And I have found that re-watching the videos many times has helped me to really grow with my colors and flowing with the process. So right now I'm putting in shading and I want to use different colors of green so as you can see I started with the lightest and working my way out. And in order to give just a little bit more shadow depth I've added darker green and it's really helped. Starting to look three-dimensional. Now I'm working on the leaf and again I have three or four actually I have five colors I'm working with and as I'm drawing things in I'm finding I need to draw in with my Sharpie and give myself some more detail to the feather, the feathers, the leaves. Actually they would be flower feathers, leaves. So, I'm giving it more to look like it's in the shade, more dimension. Now I'm going to start doing the background. With the original one, I just gave it a quick color over. But Candace said for using this and taking pictures of the end product, I have to fill it in as much as I can. So that's what I'm doing, and you will see that my pencil crayon over time is getting shorter and shorter because I am resharpening. And I flip it upside down because it gives me another angle and perspective of looking at what I'm doing and seeing where there's errors or where I can put something in to make it look better. I worked on the smallest spaces first because I found it's best to do the funnest stuff at the beginning of the art project and then work your way out to the hardest. And I find the background is the hardest because it's tedious and it's hard on the arm. I would like to be able to do this with my left arm and strengthen it up like my right one, but it does like to tell me where I need to go by tapping my fingers. It's looking better and better. I need to add a little bit more yellow, some more shadow to the back of the flowers and to the bottom flower. Starting to really come to life. I need a bend in the leaf so it looks like it's been bent for a while. And Candace said I had to do to the corners. It helps her when she uses the picture. She's the whiz with the camera and all of her pictures. So this is the process and what I went through when I was coloring this. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Until next time.